Hey folks, pleased to be joined by Eric McPherson, owner, founder, CEO of Dawson Tire and Wheel out in Gothenburg, Nebraska. Eric, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks Greg for having me. Looking forward to this. Well, I tell you, I'm looking forward to learning more. You guys have something very excited coming here in the next few weeks, a new app called Treadsure. Uh, can you tell us about it, Eric? Yeah, I'd be happy to, Greg. Um, Treasure is an app. It's been about a four-year vision of mine to um, try and get data for ag tires and wheels in one place, easily accessible for you know farmers and equipment dealers. We had a lot of equipment dealers requesting that we help them with their trade-in process, and as you know. Dealerships have gotten a lot bigger over the years and a lot of sales guys out there trading equipment in and they can misvalue a piece of equipment, 20 or $30,000. If, if they call a, a big 710, 70, 42 Michelin, you know, if they call it 80% when it's really 30% and, you know, back in those days or probably still, they just stick their finger in and, you know, if it's halfway up to my knuckle, it's 50%. Right. <laughs> so, so there's the tire manufacturers all have great data, but it's all really hard to find and not accessible and all in different formats. So, you know, we started helping dealers by providing tread depth gauges, training them how to measure tread depth so they're not guessing. Then they came back and said, Well, we don't know what we don't know what that tire was new. It's a you know back seven ten seventy forty two Michelin Axio bib and and when we don't know whether it's 80, 30 seconds or 50, 30 seconds. So, so we went down the road of, you know, printing sheets with common tire sizes and here's the new tread depth and put some charts out, but not sustainable. So I said with technology today, there has to be a way to build an app that has all this information in one place. And it's taken a lot of time and with technology being technology and a lot of tries. We, I, I think, we finally won, and we're, we're ready to kick this out in the marketplace. So the Treadshare app will be available uh, just on uh, Android and Apple, both platforms. Here, that's correct. Yeah, right now it's it's available on both app stores. Okay. Um, we've had it out on Android for five or six months, and it's had some test users, some equipment dealer. You know, remarketing managers, um, appraisers using it. So we've gotten some good feedback, and then Apple recently gave us their blessing. Okay. So we're it's it's out there and it's free. I, I do know on Apple you have to if you type in Treadsure, it, it gets up a bunch of treasure hunting games. So if you type in the word separately, it's a lot easier to find. So it's, uh, can, yeah, just kind of walk us through that, uh, the app itself. I, you showed me before we started the interview, Eric, it, it looks very intuitive. Uh, basically just pick your tire brand and then uh, the model and, uh, and then enter your measurement and it, it gives you that, uh, you know, percent of tread depth. Would that be accurate to say? That's correct. Okay. So if you open the app, there's, there's two choices. One's the tread calculator and the other is an evaluation form. And the evaluation form was built more for the equipment dealers that want to do eight tires on a tractor, get a record of all eight of them, um, email a form, you know, print it off, put it in the file when they're trading in a, an 8410 right. John Deere tractor. with. Um, so that's what the evaluation form is designed for. It pops up a picture of a tractor. You can pick the pick what position, um, front or back or inside or outside. And then, but if you open the tread calculator, you do really simple, you, you select your brand. We're gonna go with Alliance this time. If you pick Alliance, um, it'll pull up all the Alliance models that are available. So I'll pick an Agristar, pretty common, R1W. Um, then it'll pull up the sizes of an Agristar Here's a 665 R38. Um, there is a condition slider. That's more for the evaluation form. You want a record if it's 
you know, stubble damaged or weather cracked or excellent shape. Right. And then there's just a little wheel that you slide back and forth and whatever tire you put in, it's going to set to the wheel at 50% tread. So as, if you pick different models, you'll know that, notice that slider wheels going back and forth. So we just figured that that way you have to move it as little as possible. So anyway, this Alliance 665R38, you slide it over, you measure 50, 30 seconds with your tread depth gauge that will happily send you if you need one. Or there's a little toggle that you can do millimeters if you grew up in Europe. Right. Um, and then you just hit complete. Yeah. And it comes back with a little form that, or that says this Alive 665R38 is 72% remaining tread depth. Wow. And at that point, you can finish or you can decide to add it to the form and do more tires on the piece of equipment. So right. pretty simple. Okay. Yep. Now, folks, check out Treadsure. This is going to change things. Uh, and again, as one database guide to another, hats off for building this database of, of tires and tread depths. And, uh, you know, I think this thing is going to really uh, make life better for a lot of folks in the ag industry, Eric. Fantastic job. Oh, thanks for, thanks for that, Greg. Um, we're, again, it's always a work in progress. It's technology and we'll do our best to keep the data relevant as new tires come along and adding new products. So uh, we're, we're committed to, we're in it for the long haul and we, and, and thanks for having me. This is pretty cool opportunity for me. Oh, uh, my pleasure to visit, uh, Eric. I've been a fan for Dawson, fan of Dawson Tire and Wheel, which you guys have built for a long time. And to, to hear about the investment in this uh, new uh, tool, the tread show, I'm just excited. Uh, yeah, excited to see it in action and get it in folks' hands. So check it out, folks. Tread Shore by Dawson Tire and Wheel. Hi, my name is John Elder with Dawson Tire and Wheel, and I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of our Tread Shore app, uh, the one and only app. Uh, engineered and designed to help you measure the amount of tire life remaining in your agricultural equipment tire. So you can see the icon on my screen here as I click it. You can see that it has two basic features. One feature is a tread calculator which simply gives you the tread life remaining on any given agricultural tire. Uh, the other one is a new evaluation form which will email you uh, a set one or multiple tires up to 12 in an email that gives you the tire information, the original tread life, the tread life remaining, and the percent remaining. We'll start with the tread calculator. When I click the tread calculator, it brings up a very simple selection tool. You select the brand, in this case we'll choose Firestone. The model, you can see recently used, I have a maxi traction, so we'll use that. Select a size, so you go in and it will tell you all the different sizes available on a Firestone maxi traction. We'll choose the 870R38. You'll choose the condition of the tire, anywhere from poor, fair, good, or excellent. A quick selection or a quick idea of what that means, if you click the help button, it'll tell you poor, fair, good, and excellent to give you an idea of how we would rate the tire here at Dawson Tire and Wheel. It'll also ask you to select the depth. You'll measure it with a, depth, with a tread depth gauge, either in 30 seconds of an inch or in millimeters. We choose 30 seconds of an inch. This tire, if I select 37, it would be 50% tread life remaining. Let's assume I measured it and it was 42. When I hit complete, it'll tell you that it's a Firestone 870R38 and it's 56% remaining. So if you're filling out a form, for example, at your dealership, you simply write that information down. If, however, you want, so you can finish that and it'll clear this information. If, however, you decide that you want to keep that information and add it to an email form, you can simply click Add to Form. It'll ask if you would like to add a position to this tire. You can select yes or no. We'll select yes for the purpose of this demonstration. And you can select whether it was an inside, middle, or outside on the rear. So, if I go back, we'll do another one. We'll do a tread evaluation form. You can see that you enter the name here, which would be, we'll use my name for example. 
I put my email address in there. You can put whatever email address you'd like. If you send it to uh, somebody at the dealership to evaluate trades, you can put his name there. You can also put a secondary address, maybe your address if you're the salesman and you want to have the information. You click continue. Yes, I'd like to do. We'll do the inside. And you can see that it says right back inside towards the top of the screen. Again, we'll select Firestone, Maxi Traction, 48070R30. We'll say fair condition. And we'll say this one's at 29, 30 seconds. We'll save it. Then it pops up this screen, has the form details. From here, you can see there's one tire. You can click add more tires. We're going to do this one with no position, so maybe it's a loose tire where you don't really need to know. We'll do the same thing, maxi traction, 480, 70R30, and we'll say this one's at 29, save this tire. And now you can see that it has right back inside, tire 2, no position. When I hit the confirm button, it'll ask if I'm ready to, to confirm or submit. I hit submit and it will send you a detailed form to the email selected. I hope this helps. Um, again, at Dawson Tire and Wheel, we're here to help you, so if you have any tire and wheel needs, please feel free to contact us at any time.